all right guys uh, let's start uh, as we are already past five minutes the schedule time uh, I am Vikrant and I'm working on behalf of EO Cortex and this is the webinar that that is going to be dedicated about face recognition module one of face recognition module that you can use with EO Cortex VMS Before going further, I, I would like to specify certain points about uh, our company. Uh, we are global developer of video management software. Our company was established in 2008 and since then we have been in business uh, and we have are spreading our wings outside of Russia. Our brand name is Macroscope. Uh, that is the brand name of uh, Russian territory and outside of Russia we are known as EO Cortex. In all these years we have uh, built a strong partnership network with 5000 plus distributors and system integrators that come from 27 uh, countries which are spread across the globe. And with this partnership we have achieved 23,000 plus video surveillance systems implementation which included 300,000 plus cameras. This, this all was uh, achieved with the development done uh, in regard to the software itself. Uh, we have made our software user friendly, intuitive so that any uh, layman can, can work on our software without any formal compute, uh, computer knowledge just mouse uh, clicking knowledge and key keyboard knowledge would be enough to work with EO Cortex. Installation of it is very simple and easy to do. Once that has been done configuration is again uh, will be done on intuitive interface where you can just look at the tabs and will be able to figure out what, to, uh, what needs to be done. Then we have also integrated 5000 plus camera models coming from 150 prominent brands and we are complying with ONWIF and PSIA standards so any camera which is complying with ONWIF or PSIA will be working with your Cortex as well without any, any sort of integration needed up, uh, this, uh, if you want uh, any additional feature of the camera uh, to be integrated into EO Cortex then integration would be needed uh, and this would be applicable to any feature which is not covered by ONWIF standard or PSIA standard. After that uh, we have also done a good development of an application called EO Cortex Health Check which uh, can prompt you about any mishapping um, done to server or constraint cameras system will be notifying you via mail about uh, surge in CPU utilization or RAM utilization if any hard drive will go down uh, you will be notified about it via email we have developed a solution for replication if you have a VMS and you want archive of uh, that, uh, of that camera of, of the cameras of uh, that VMS need to be uh, backed up then replication will be the solution and if you want system to run 24 into 7 then failover would be the right choice to go with as it has been uh, developed by us which can bring the standby system to take the failed servers uh, responsibility within 10 seconds if you want to work with RAID uh, or NAS then it is very easy to uh, do that provided uh, these storage uh, methods are given to EO Cortex as drives. If, if you have done the configuration of RAID and have provided that as drive EO Cortex will accept it and different roles can be so given to that particular drive whether you want to use it for backup or mirroring in case of ultra uh, VMS or you want to use it as reverse standby uh, storage space 
you can do that all further software updates are for free of charge you would not be charged anything for the software upgrade out of this now uh, what our partners are benefiting uh, first thing would be once agreement has been signed we provide free of charge technical trainings and sales training to our partners staff pre-sale support is also provided without any charge if your clients need hands-on testing then we can provide test licenses so that they can uh, they can test your cortex at their premises and then be assured of its workings and again technical support will always be available uh, we conduct training sessions every month in all three hours uh, time is needed from from our partners so they can be present on live uh, training sessions these are the countries that we already have presence in Czech Republic Germany Italy Denmark UAE Qatar USA uh, Portugal Kuwait Egypt Oman Turkey Pakistan uh, Australia uh, just naming a few then these are the brands which uh, we have done integration of into Eocortex these are prominent brands which are very much known in our uh, industry all the intelligent modules uh, that you want to work with and don't need to have any special or any algorithm or any intelligent analysis running on them they just need to send regular IP camera stream to uh, your cortex and analysis will be carried out on the machine itself yes it is compatible with LG as well but uh, I cannot give you the number of uh, model that it is working with now would you like to organize 100% control and automated access of people to the character uh, to the territory then if your answer is yes then we, we have a solution called face recognition and face recognition would be at a uh, at a boundary line where, where you, you want to first recognize the individuals before providing them access different uh, settings can be done where system could be integrated with access control system on the basis of these settings different settings system will pass through each and every individual that that would be seen in the camera view and then uh, system will take the decision where whether this person's information is provided in database or not if it is provided whether this person is allowed to pass through the access system or not so this will be done by a smart algorithm uh, which is running on in the face recognition module it can easily be integrated with access control system we have done integration of multiple uh, types of access control systems which are available in Russian territory but we are very much open to do integration of any access control system uh, that you going to use in your project provided we, we are uh, given with uh, complete SDK with all the APIs to carry out the integration of access control system you can create database uh, of photos of trusted and back blacklist people so different uh, groups can be created and on the base basis of that uh, uh, demarcation module will take the decision whether to allow someone to pass through access point or not 
whenever system is going to recognize someone or just going to detect someone system can be configured to throw notification notification can be seen on the monitor itself or you may receive it on, on your phone or via email so you will have proper information and notification whenever someone comes in camera view if somebody has been observed in camera view then you will have access at any point of time to the archive of that instance how the company will benefit from this uh, by providing automatic administration system uh, so that security guards would not be uh, relied on and the system will, will be automated so that uh, human resource is not put up to the task which can be done by a machine. It will definitely, when, when such system has been implemented, it will prevent unauthorized persons from entering the premises. This is the interface. I will be showing you uh, demonstration, live demonstration of this later on. So this is the section where, where you can get the list of all the detected and recognized faces. Uh, click on any of these entries will take you to the archive where you can play it in forward and backward mode. Filters will be available. You can do the fil uh, filtering by using time or by the using information so that you will have the list of individuals that you are interested in. Filtering can be done on the basis of group as well. This is exactly what uh, client operator would be looking at so here you have you are getting the information that that individual which group individual be, uh, belongs to if that person has been recognized or not now to get good accuracy uh, from face recognition module camera needs to be installed at the face level with slight deviation, deviation of uh, up to 20 degree would be acceptable. Light should be evenly distributed so, so there would not be any dark spot on the face when system is taking the frame for analysis. It is best to go with uh, nil emotion uh, or neutral face when when you are in front of camera and the resolution uh, of the human face uh, should be in such a manner that 32 pixels should be covering the gap between the eyes of individual coming in camera view then only frame will be picked for analysis Simple licensing policy is, is there that uh, one license, one camera is needed. One camera, one module license is needed. And for one system, you need to have one database. Accuracy of the system is up to 96% and it can be increased further this is the journal average it can be increased by doing the installation as per the guidance and providing the images uh, Umer, uh, then it would be really difficult for system to, to
do the recognition of face when camera is installed at a height let's say 10 feet because not uh, not many people can walk while looking up and if the system is not getting the face it would not be able to do the analysis so accuracy can be increased all the time uh, by providing good quality images without any expression and if good lighting is maintained in the area which would be used for camera then you, you will be able to get good accuracy now uh, there is no limit to number of images that you can upload into the database and there is no limitation on the size of that image that you're going to put in there it should be clear enough so that metadata could be created and should be placed in the uh, database and it can be easily in, uh, integrated with access control system installation and configuration with, uh, will be done within three minutes and it is comparatively cheap uh, when when you are comparing it with, with uh, known face recognition modules available in the market all software updates will be for free you will be able to access the archive using uh, remote devices like mobile phones web uh, web clients running on your laptop or uh, on Android and if you have configured push notification it will be good enough to work with at face level average face level would be uh, it entirely depends on which country you are in well, what is the um, average height of uh, uh, human beings are there in in that area and system accepts 20 de uh, 20 degrees deviation from this standard so face recognition could be utilized at banks or financial institutes journal buildings and offices where where uh, or only authorized individuals are allowed to come in in retail stores where you want uh, system to work for you to recognize people who are uh, good buyers and someone who is known yes retail shop as well if you want to uh, know about anyone's profile whether that, that person has in the past what good amount of uh, product then you can recognize that person and can work by installing a camera that that would be at face level so that system can prompt you with push notification email or uh, SMS that uh, VIB has arrived that you, your, your staff needs to care about that person and if somebody has been known to uh, known to be a danger to your uh, establishment then also you will be notified about it so that you can inform authorities to take care of that person then casinos at airports uh, government facilities passenger marine uh, ships even to secure your home Uh, uh, Shinwas, you need to have generic GSM modem 
USB modem uh, which is an available anywhere and then you need to put in the GSM SIM there and that would be enough and uh, once that the configuration has been done system will be using that then you have power plants uh, to, to be secured uh, hydroelectric facilities energy transfer facilities water treatment facilities will also be taken care of stadiums construction sites manufacturing facilities and prisons correction facilities can also be safeguarded by use of face recognition uh, I'm taking you to my screen so that you can look at the system how it works here is uh, face recognition working This is its port speech. I can go into the archive of any camera. Filtering can be done by use of time. Filtering can be done by use of uh, information already available in the database uh, this is how you can do the if you want to edit the uh, edit something in database you can do that you can get the report extracted as well from here by using export button uh, filters can also be applied to that creation of database is quite simple you just need to click on uh, the icon which is edit in the database and then provide the information and if you want to add any any information there you can do that if access control system has been integrated then system will be sending signal to access control system on the basis of results shown by the uh, module uh, what is the response time on detection that this is a good question by TAS TAS recognition can be done within one second of three individuals seen in the same frame so in a second three individuals can be recognized not just detected but recognized as well Umair, uh, your question is uh, uh, Umair, it, it would be uh, too much of deviation from the standard uh, what is the resolution of the camera that you are you have installed at uh, height of 10 to 13 feet if it is 3 megapixel and you are making uh, the system look at the face at a far distance then yes recognition can be carried out but it is again not uh, not the right way to work with it it is always good to install camera at face level Terry your question is would different system be required for separate databases who wanted in general? no database would tell you that database would be the same you can do the grouping there uh, you, you can do the grouping there once grouping has been done then system system will be 
working on it and taking the any uh, action on the basis of it. Uh, let me let me take you config to the config data. This is the case you going to deal with. as a system administrator Sorry. <laughs> I'm just bringing the application up So here we have a configurator and if I go into face recognition here in scenarios I will have the choice which is face recognized and here I can make the selection. Um, selection would be alarm generation. Then I need to set the runtime condition. What should be the condition? Uh, group name. If group name equals to whatever the group group name is, then action should be performed. Now here the action will be just to display on the monitor that someone has been uh, observed in camera view, which belongs to particular group. Same goes for identified. So uh, uh, this uh, condition could be set whether somebody is identified or not identified. This way you can set different kinds of conditions and get the results. So single database will be enough to get this thing done. Sayed, uh, yes, um, definitely it is going to um, dip, uh, affect the working of face recognition, but it it is not be the only uh, only thing that would be that system would be relying on. System would not be seeking. System will not be seeking anything more than fifty frames per second. So if you have a camera and you or if you if even if you want to work with one frame per, per second you can do that but then system would not have a choice but to work with just one frame and uh, more the frames used for analysis system has more chance to pass through and make it sure that that person has been recognized. Uh, Umair, uh, yes, it can recognize group of people as well. A uh, system can detect three individuals in one second's duration. Is it compatible with Hikvision cameras? Yes, it is compatible with Hikvision cameras because Hikvision cameras are already integrated with EOCortex. Though uh, you don't need to. You don't really need to have a camera integrated for it to work with your cortex as long as it is complying with ONWIF or PSIA standard. System needs to communicate with Hikvision uh, cameras either using ONWIF or PSIA or it's an integrated plugin. This plugin is going to set the uh, communication. Once this communication has been established, system will be getting stream from uh, from the camera and will perform analysis on that stream. Now, uh, basic and expert are 
different from each other each other two megapixel with 60 fps a year Uh, would be good enough but it is not needed 15 frames would be enough to work with to get good results more FPS you're going to add more computing resources system would be needing Uh, as this information we cannot share how many uh, reference points system needs uh, generally system would start working from the eyes that is why we we specify that 32 pixels should be gap between both the eyes if somebody has shaved uh, then there could be a ch uh, chance that that person is not recognized properly as his uh, appearance has changed but uh, if uh, data has already been provided if a photograph has been provided of the unshaped face as well in the database then system ha will have metadata using uh, both shaved and unshaved face and that will be used by system so it entirely depends on what kind of data uh, you have already provided in database if you have provided 20 photographs of individual with different expressions then system would be able to uh, work with it Umair I cannot say uh, about all the Samsung models but yes Samsung uh, models have been integrated into EO Cortex. Uh, Marco, uh, there is no specific number of uh, pixels that should cover the face of individual. The only criteria is that there should be a gap of uh, 32 pixels between the eyes of both individuals. Umair, I am uh, really sorry but uh, you are repeatedly asking me the same thing uh, 9 to 10 10 to 13 feeds whereas I have already told you that you need to work with uh, this module at face level with 20 degrees deviation yes 9 to 10 feet will work good uh, in Netherlands or uh, Denmark where average height is 6 plus Uh, Terry, it will not affect the results. But uh, PTZ would, if it, it is set on patrolling, then, then you would be missing many people who would be passing under the camera view. And if the, the uh, uh, camera is not stabilized, it, it is not getting the stabilized images, then there would be uh, problem with the uh, system to get the good frames to do the analysis on technically they, they, uh, there is not going to be any effect when you are using PTZ with this module system will allow you to do that it just that the PTZ should not hamper the quality of the images which have been sent
Uh, I hope I haven't missed anyone's question. If I have, please uh, put that question again. Uh, your question is, uh, is there a minimum FPS for best accuracy? 10 frames, I would say, uh, from my own experience, 10 frames would be good enough to work with. Uh, that will be uh, giving you good anal uh, analytical results. Is there any other question? Guys, uh, after the end of this session, you will be uh, receiving a feedback form. Uh, please fill that. Take, take out some time and fill it and uh, give us your feedback. If you want something additional in webinars, uh, if you want something to be improved, Definitely we will work on it and we will be looking forward to make your experience on webinars better. So as no questions are coming my way, so I'll be getting offline. If a person is looking sideways, can we change perspective of a person's face for identification? I'm really not getting this uh, question of yours. Uh, Kaushal, could, could you put it in, in some different way? Uh, if it is about site profile, no, then system would not be able to do the recognition as a frontal facial profile is not captured. 